Fluence XL is a feature-rich Excel add-in which connects directly to Anaplan and a range of other data sources. The Anaplan connection supports username, password, and also SSO providers. When I connect, I see the workspaces and models which I have access to. Selecting a model will list the modules which are available to report on. I can add any module as a connection to the current workbook, and you can see that in this case, I had already defined several other connections. So you can connect to multiple modules and models within a workbook or indeed within a worksheet. An important part about the connection is that it's a real-time connection. So a live data query directly against the Anaplan modules using Anaplan security and the Anaplan API. Fluence XL has several reporting modes and we'll first take a look at grids, which can be used both for ad hoc analysis and also formatted reporting. The model structure is on the left and elements can be moved across to filters, columns or rows. I can then make individual selections, choosing the amount, line item, and then move chart of account to rows and cost center, organization, product and time to the filter area. I'll move version onto columns and select the three available scenarios. To make selections on chart of account, I can navigate down through the hierarchy to pick individual accounts and then arrange them in any order I choose. In this case, I'm going to choose the top level operating profit to get a simple one row grid. Wherever I see a plus, I can then double click to drill further into that content. Double clicking a minus will drill back up or collapse the data. Grids let you explore the data as you choose. To change selections, bring up the task pane. And I can change the time period away from the default FY21 to FY22, and we'll see that reflected in the grid. I can go back to the layout and slice and dice the versions by different parts of the organization. I move organization onto columns and drill into the result. I now have the splits for each part of the business. We can always go back and forward through prior steps through the option on the grid ribbon. I'll now move organization back to filters. And when selecting data, you also have the option to use dynamic sets of data. For example, descendants of operating profit will be everything in the hierarchy beneath operating profit. This is a dynamic selection. So if the structure changes or we add accounts, the report will grow or shrink to reflect that. It's also very quick and intuitive for users to add their own calculations. To see a comparison between actual and budget, I can go to the grid ribbon and add a new column calculation. I'll call that actual to budget. And then beneath that, I can specify a standard Excel formula. That will be populated down through the grid and will expand and contract with the grid. To go one step further, the calculation will also replicate across the report if I nest version within organization as we did previously. Grids are well suited to exploring data and slicing and dicing, but they can also be highly formatted. This example is one grid which has had formatting applied. If I want to change the formatting, it's as simple as right clicking on an element and formatting the member or the level. I'll format the level and set a fill color. As you can see, that is applied to everything at the same level. And it's applied dynamically. So when the number of rows changes, the formatting remains correct. 
So grids are useful both from an ad hoc analysis perspective and also for final version reporting. One worksheet can contain grids from different modules, models, or even completely different data source types, as is the case here. When I change the slicer, it retrieves two grids from different Anaplan models, but also from Power BI and from SQL Server. The slicers can be configured to drive selections across multiple data sources and to help build coherent reports. Fluence Excel also has a cell-based retrieval mode, which works through a series of lookup formulas. It means that you can create reports of any layout and any format quickly and easily. You can see in this case, if I change the year, everything updates, and the values are coming directly from the data source. The easiest way to build a formula report is typically to begin with a grid, which we have here, and then to convert that to formula. Once I've done the conversion, we have the XL3 lookout formulas, and you can see they're referencing connection number two. For date fiscal, it's March 21. For scenario, it's budget, all the way down the other hierarchies. The benefits then are that I can change the layout as I choose, so I can move prior year to the left, current year to the right, and quickly and easily create a simple butterfly report. The report is still drillable, and if I wanted to replicate this for different departments, I can simply propagate that across sheets. I'll choose the first three, and you'll see I'll get three additional sheets, one for each of the departments which I chose. Preform reports can be built either by converting a grid or by simply typing in a range of elements on rows and columns which you want to retrieve. Having done that, you can refresh the report either on the right click or with Control Shift R and the data will be retrieved directly from the source. If I then want to further amend this report, I may, for example, not want to see forecast for the prior year. I can simply delete the column. And if I want to extend the report, I can copy the header block or just type it in. And having done that, I can change March to just fiscal year. And then re refresh the data. The new data will come in straight away. And for formatting, I can use standard Excel rules. Within this environment, I can still drill. I can double click on marketing and back up again. And if I want to change the accounts being reported on or the order of the accounts, I could copy travel expenses here and just type in marketing directly above. So I've switched the order then re-retrieve and everything's back in place. So this is a very straightforward way for users to work with and amend existing reports and to create reports where there are asymmetric combinations of elements on columns or on rows. It's very familiar to anyone who has used SmartView in the past. Fluence Excel users can author and maintain professional, flexible reports which connect directly to Anaplan, reducing the effort of manual copy-pasting data and freeing up time for value-added analysis.